you! It was you! It was you! Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Tawny here. Um, first, before we start this video, I just need to apologize for the wheezing, humming sound you might be able to hear. Um, I'm really, really, really re hoping that it will be resolved by the end of this week. So in the next video that you'll see, you probably hopefully won't hear it. But um, yeah, I'm so sorry. It's it's something wrong with my like water pipes and tank and something that I don't understand anything about. But um, yeah, it's really annoying. It's been happening non-stop for like two months now, but <laughs> I'm really hoping that it'll get resolved. But yeah, so today I have built my dream apartment. Now, I'm in general, like I'm somebody who would rather have like a nice apartment than like a big house. I don't know um, if anyone else feels that way, but um, I don't mind having like, like an apartment and then like a tiny piece of like, maybe like a tiny shared backyard. Because um, I like parks, I like to go to parks, and yeah, so I don't really mind, like, I don't need, like, a huge amount of, like, my own, um, garden space. Like, I really don't mind sharing it. Um, and in general, I just enjoy that apartments can be kind of more, like, cozy, and also there's less to clean. So even if you have, like, a relatively big apartment, you kind of, like, don't have that much to, like, upkeep. But yeah, so the style of apartment, I was kind of between two different styles. One would be a New York City like brownstone apartment, which that would be like my, my crazy wild unattainable dream. <laughs> but if you know me, you know that I love New York City. It's always been my favorite city on this planet. So like my dream would be to probably live in like a brownstone there. But that's like an unrealistic dream but i could also probably build that like i've built brownstones before and i loved it so that could be um a possibility if i if i get the inspiration to build one i love watching those videos on youtube of like brownstones and like they're selling for like six million dollars and i like watch them and think that i could one day own one like absolutely not but anyway today I've chosen to go with like a little bit more of an attainable dream apartment <laughs> um, which is a kind of tenement build that you would typically see in Glasgow, Edinburgh, um, places like maybe like Dundee in Scotland um, but mainly I would say like the very typical build that is like a tenement building um, you, you would probably see in like Glasgow, Edinburgh and there's a very kind of like old Scottish building that used to be used as a uh, way to house workers in the early 1900s I suppose <laughs> I'm, I'm not like super well versed on the, on the history but I just know that these used to be like for people who were living in horrendous conditions and now they're They've been repurposed for <laughs> like luxury apartments. They're very sought after, uh, mainly because of like the big windows and the natural light that you get in these in these apartments. So, yeah, that's why they're also my dream apartments. Um, I have never had the luxury of living in one. Um, actually, I don't know. I don't know how many of you know this, but um, I have lived in the UK for six years now, a little over six years. So. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of different kinds of architecture all over the United Kingdom so far, but yeah, this is like my dream, my absolute dream. Um, I've stayed in Airbnbs and stuff that are made in this, um, style before and it's just like the natural light, like it's unmatched, like the natural light that you get is just insane. Now here I am making like the entrance to kind of my part of the... Um, build um, which is nothing too exciting if I'm honest um, I'm just kind of making the floor plans I, I just furnished like my side um, and like my apartment um, in this build 
Also, I really need to mention the backyards that we've just seen. Um, I didn't really put anything in there because normally they aren't that like decorated. They just have like people's stuff, like their shared spaces. They have like bins and stuff. So yeah, here I'm choosing the front door. Now, usually these flats would have like uh, a front door where the door is kind of there's like the first set of doors that kind of fold and then you have this space and then you have the actual front door but we don't have them in the sims so i didn't even attempt to make that because it wouldn't have worked so i just went with this door <laughs> but yeah so now i'm making the floor plan this is going to change a lot in the over the course of this video um but a lot of these can be quite differently laid out but normally you would have some kind of like entry area that is either like a big kind of square or kind of like a like a, um what's the word like rectangle oblong kind of shape um they can also have these like long corridors so um i just went with whatever was like made sense for this context um of build because there are so many ways of just like doing the floor plan, setting up the buildings, how you do everything. So I just went with this because I I know that I also have seen a lot of like UK builds have like these long corridors. Like it doesn't matter if it's a house, it doesn't matter if it's an apartment. They often have like some kind of skinny corridor thing. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but it's very typical. Um, now here we come to the bay window area, which is literally exactly the main reason why this would be my dream apartment like if i could have a little corner like this to do my job to do my like videos like i would be the happiest woman alive <laughs> like genuinely like i i'm so envious of people who have that like i don't i don't think they know what, what they have how lucky they are like i really i really don't think um they have any idea but i mean i can't even imagine the natural light that you might get like unbelievable especially if you're like west facing oh my god like i think you're winning at life <laughs> but yeah it also wouldn't be a tenement build if it didn't have some kind of old timey kind of refurbished fireplace now with the sofa i personally would not want to have a light colored sofa because you can see any kind of um, stain and whatever on that. Um, so I would go for either like a black couch like this. I think I changed the color of the couch to blue, like a dark blue. Just any type of color that is darker. Because um, then you can balance it out with like the walls and the other furniture and then like a light colored rug. Because rugs are also easier to clean. You can just, you know get them professionally clean you can take them to like a laundromat um but yeah i think like the couch is risky to have in a very light color <laughs> but yeah now i'm finishing this nook this is like my dream um little like this is all for like my sim self to work in um i do have a girlfriend but <laughs> she would not work in this corner this would be all mine <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. She could work in there. But anyway, I really enjoy this apartment because it's like kind of airy and stuff, but it's it's also very like the areas have specific vibes and I just I don't know. I I really like I would live in this flat that I've made. Um I genuinely like just I don't know. I would love to live here. But yeah, here I'm making the entryway, um, just putting some light little touches all over. Um, it's becoming clear that the color scheme for like pops of color in this apartment are like pinks and beige and blue and yellow and all those kinds of colors. I think those colors go so well together and I just, I would honestly um, invest in any kind of art that was in that kind of color scheme. Um, but yeah, I love this entryway. It's so cute. Um, my style when it comes to furniture in real life as well, it's, it's, you can kind of see here, it's a mix and match of different kinds of like furniture styles. So I like, um, mid-century. I like like classic. I like modern farmhouse. So like in real life as well, like my apartment would be just like 
a, a mixture of all of those things and yeah this also this apartment I created as kind of um, a typical um, the way that they would do it in the UK would be to have every room as kind of like a separate room and I think that is because they probably used to be separate rooms um, in reality in the old times so that like you would have in the old times a bunch of people living in like one room sharing it like a bunch of beds all that kind of stuff um, so I started to think well if I am making my my dream apartment then I would probably renovate it and even change it a little bit structurally so I would um, open up archways um, and, and take get rid of doors and, and make them big archways and stuff which is what I'm gonna do soon here um, and for the style I'm going for kind of like a, like a farmhousey table with kind of like more modern chairs like I just I love mixing and matching things um, but yeah here I'm making the archway um, and I just think it opens up the the kitchen and the dining room so nicely um, and I just I love it and that is something that if I could do it like if the structure would allow for it I would probably do that in like my dream apartment if I had unlimited money also I love having like little pieces of art everywhere I'm like this in real life as well like I just love having little pieces of um, like I love having like postcards and like random like photos I've taken like Polaroids and things everywhere in my current flat I'm not allowed to put anything on the walls which kind of sucks so like I don't really have any kind of um, way of having like pictures of my family and things like that unless it's in uh, picture frames so I have a bunch of picture frames all over um, but yeah I think that's kind of stupid when um, letting agencies and landlords don't let you have your own um, your own pictures on the wall because I feel like it's kind of a human thing to want to have that but anyway here I'm moving on to the kitchen now it has the kind of white subway tile which I love <laughs> I would totally have this in the kitchen um, now I would either have it like this um, with white tile and like a bright color um, like cabinetry or I would have like a dark green like very classic subway tile and then have like white cabinets um, but I mean <laughs> we don't have like this is CC but um, the CC doesn't come in like a dark green color anyway so I just went with the white and then did some pops of blue I ended up choosing white cabinets on top of the counters because I kind of felt like it would be too busy with all blue um, but I think it could still look nice um, I get the inspiration for this from a childhood friend that I had that I remember like she used to have like blue cabinets kind of exactly in the shade like this and I still to this day I think about it I'm like that was so cool like this is in the early 2000s and I just like loved that kitchen like I think about it still and I'm like wow that that was that was good like I loved it um so I think I will try for the rest of my life to emulate that <laughs> But yeah, here I'm moving on to the first bathroom and normally bathrooms in these, especially in Glasgow I think, like it's like a very Glasgow thing to have a long bathroom where it's just long and skinny and then you have kind of, you walk in and then you have the shower and then at the back it's the toilet and the sink. However, that could not work in the Sims because I don't think they would be able to access any of those things then. If you had it laid out like that I'll see if I can like find a picture and put it on the screen right now to kind of explain what I mean like I think that's a very Glaswegian thing to have that um, but yeah in I wouldn't mind having that in like my dream apartment I'm just thinking like in terms of gameplay I don't think that would work out <laughs> like that really would make things a, like a lot more difficult so I didn't do that here um, so yeah and another thing is that we don't really have like master bathrooms like off um, like bedrooms directly here so I just made this kind of like the main bathroom for like me and my girlfriend and then um, the other bathroom would be for like our kid whose room I actually furnished um, 
no i think that might be sound crazy but i mean like <laughs> this is my dream house like i'm thinking that this is what i'm like this is in 10 years where i'm at in 10 years like i mean i would have to become a millionaire in that time but like still <laughs> but yeah i'm furnishing this um bedroom i absolutely love it like i just i don't know if any of you have ever been to glasgow or edinburgh and places like this like you will know what i mean like even those wardrobes are just so like what you would see um and i just like i love it like i just dream of having that one day like it's so silly but it's literally my dream <laughs> but yeah um and here i'm putting a little bit of like pops of color in here and because i don't know i feel like i would still want like I, i'm not one of those people like i if you can tell like i love color i love pops of color i don't think um a home should be totally just black and white i really don't like that kind of stuff like it's fine if you like it i'm not saying it's wrong it's just my opinion that i don't really enjoy a very monochromatic style of furnishing and like interior design so in my apartment at the risk of having it look a little bit too busy even i would rather have a bunch of like colors and stuff going on than than anything else um now we're moving on to the kids bedroom um like this could be shared by two kids or it's just for one kid i don't know um <laughs> who knows how, how many children i would ever end up having nobody knows um so this is just in the future so i made this just kind of like a very gender neutral nice little room for my future baby or babies we'll never know <laughs> um but yeah please let me know what you think of my dream house and let me know if you want me to put it on the gallery i know it has a ton of cc so you might not want it on the gallery but um if even one of you wants it i can always upload it i really don't mind and yeah and also let me know what your dream house or apartment would look like where it would be located and why you enjoy that kind of architecture i'm really interested in knowing what everyone's dream house and um architectural style is but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and if you enjoyed leave it a like uh, subscribe if you already haven't and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye